The World Bank ranked Rwanda in 2015 as one of the best countries to do business in Africa, following Mauritius and South Africa. This is due to the good education level, human resources, competitiveness as a tourist destination, Rwanda's government's policy aims to attract foreign investment and revitalize businesses of private sector. First of all, this is Rwanda's GDP and its economic freedom index is 65th in the world. Rwanda ranked the 7th most efficient government along with Qatar, Singapore, Finland, Hong Kong and United Arab Emirates and New Zealand, according to the World Competitiveness Report. Rwanda is an inland country. Its economy is heavily affected by external factors such as international monetary policy and climate change. The 40% of their national budget depends on foreign aid. They don't have ports due to overlapping customs examination. Charges for tradings are also high. However, foreign investment continues to increase. Here is an explanation of how they could achieve this much even after the massacre in 1994. First of all, the transformation into a knowledge-oriented society. Rwanda has made great efforts to establish a firm, central government-centered development system and nurture human resources based on the president's leadership. Rwanda has a high education level with an elementary school enrollment of 98.7% and an illiteracy rate of less than 30%. Second, Rwanda actively informs its poverty status to other countries and asks for help. Rwanda continues communicating with many countries. Many social development public projects are going on under the government's leadership but they are also the result of active cooperation with foreign NGOs. Rwanda is known to be one of the best countries for private relief organizations and non-governmental organizations to work in. The third is the consolidation policy to seal a divided society of different ethnic groups. The government tried to reconcile the groups by setting up a dispute settlement body in all regions and releasing criminals who took part in the massacre but regretted their wrongdoings. The economy is highly dependent on agriculture. Its agricultural sector accounts for 33% of the whole GDP and 90% of the workforce, according to the Export Import Bank of Korea. Coffee and tea are ground to export. It accounts for more than 30% of the total exports. Therefore, the trade becomes sensitive to changes in the status of international coffee and tea prices. Trade with Korea is still minimal. We seem to export a lot of IT devices and import food products in Rwanda. Rwanda is currently under lockdown because of Corona, like all countries in the world. Its economy is expected to be temporarily paralyzed with a total ban on intercity traffic, including the capital Kigali. Rwanda recently allowed foreigners in its country but did not open land routes.